Hello, I am Jeffrey Cohen. I'm a neurologist at the Cleveland Clinic Mellon MS Center. There is a great deal of interest in stem cells as a potential therapy for multiple sclerosis and a number of other conditions. In this presentation, I will review some background information concerning stem cells. We now have a, a wide range of, of approved therapies for relapsing forms of MS. And although these, uh, the availability of these medications has been a, a major advance uh, in treating MS, none of these available medications is 100% uh, effective in all patients with relapsing MS. Moreover, uh, none of these medications is, is highly effective for progressive forms of, of MS, uh, which represents a, a, a continued uh, major unmet need. So there's been a great deal of interest of, in stem cells as a potential way of uh, filling this unmet need. So let's start with first, what is a stem cell? So the properties that define a stem cell include the following things. First of all, they are cells that are capable of dividing to produce more of themselves, more stem cells. Secondly, secondly, they are pluripotent, which means they have the ability to develop into a, a wide range of other types of cells. Uh, and then finally, uh, they are capable of, of creating functional tissue. So, for, so next, where are stem cells found? Well, the, the prototypic stem cell are the cells of the early developing embryo, so-called embryonic stem cells. These cells go through a series of, of uh, developments in which they become all of the other tissues of the body. In addition, uh, stem cells uh, remain within the adult uh, tissues uh, to repair uh, damage and replace lost cells. So because of those properties, uh, there has been a great deal of interest in utilizing stem cells uh, to repair damage uh, and treat uh, conditions uh, in, in patients with a wide range of, of diseases. Some of those are, are shown here. We distinguish uh, two major types of stem cells uh, for therapeutic use. The, the first are uh, pluripotent or embryonic stem cells. So these are stem cells that are derived from uh, early uh, embryos, which are obtained either from research or from uh, in vitro fertilization programs. We also uh, uh, have multipotent stem cells. So these are stem cells that may come from uh, early fetal tissues or umbilical cord blood or from adult tissues themselves. Both of those types of stem cells then need to be uh, manipulated in some way, cultured as it were, uh, and then that gives rise to a variety of other uh, cell types, which then can be used uh, to treat uh, a wide range of diseases. So in summary, stem cells uh, naturally give rise to all the tissues of the body during development. Uh, and because of that, uh, we think that we could use stem cells uh, that are already present in normal adult tissues to replace cells that are damaged or lost. There's a great deal of interest as a result of that in utilizing stem cells to treat uh, multiple sclerosis and other uh, conditions. For more information, uh, please uh, visit the uh, website of the National MS Society and the International Association for Stem Cell Research.